I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. I kind of like this idea of starting off talking about being back and all. Why is that? Not sure just yet, but it probably has to do with the future idea I have. Funny. So what idea is that? It's called Previously On. Okay, we'll go with that. What's it mean? Oh, you see it in a lot of TV shows. Oh, that thing at the beginning. Yeah, where they show you what's happened before. This one is liked especially. True. Sometimes. Was this your idea? Partly. At least, that's how we'll use it. In future podcasts? You bet, because you know, it really helps when you binge on something. Why is that? Because you can use it... Or skip it. ...in whatever way helps you the most. It's sort of like having an escort. That it is, although I wasn't trying to bring the episode around to that topic yet. Yes, you were. Okay, well, it is my job, or part of it anyway. Time for the rhyme. Yes, it is. And today, our beloved son of DT's dad... We'll keep our hogs and eat husks with them. Ooh, Shakespeare. What? Oh, right. You mean in English that I talk first. I do, so don't allow me to further detain you. Harf, tis true that I have searched for guidance. In my very own mind and heart. But how can one have needed trust when answers are so hard to find? That doesn't rhyme. It will. Anything you want. Okay, different action is what's needed to bring a novel view to light. If you wish to gain knowledge, then why not escort your own mind? If you want success in investing, style it in a poem like that guy will. Knowing wisdom that will last, security and happiness still. The voyage starts in this place here. Investing in self is the great interest. Escorting your own mind is no easy feat. But keeping your focus is always the best. Step forward for your great reward. The experience you will not forget. Breathe deep and do it all anew. Distracted not means no more debt. To trust is not an easy task. Our practice makes it all a go. Investing by sonnet may seem strange. But as you learn, your path has changed. This is the last part of the poem. Good. I was going to ask. Ahead there are some bumps and turns. But never fear for you to learn. Escorting your mind is the only way to live with all success today. Talk about deep learning. Wow. That was a lot of work to get today's point over. Wasn't it? Not at all, my dear withering ground swell of turnips. Urgh. Escorting your mind is something I do, you do, and we all have to do. So you say, but what do you mean? Okay, fair enough. Let's do that bite-sizing thing. One bite at a time. Right, I get that. Okay, let's do it. Picture number one. The Dutch version, photo number nine. Hey, wait a sec. What? You don't mean picture number one, do you? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, Daniel, what did I mean? Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us, or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming. So are you? Am I what? Are you going to follow the recommendations in that break we just heard? You mean the recommendation to read the show notes? Yeah. Among others, those would be the ones. Probably. I'll have to go back and listen to them again. He said warily. So... Tell me more about this escorting your mind idea. Well, I can tell you not to Google it. Why? 
well, because you're a search engine, will focus on the word escort in quotes and think you're talking about the world's oldest profession. And that's not what you had in mind, correct? No, it is not. And I let not search and inquisition quail to bring again these foolish runaways. As you like it. So, uh, uh, right. So, are you going to do a list for me now that you've explained escort in quotes? Okay, here it goes. Should people be ready to write this stuff down? I would say so, yes. And here's the first thing you can do when you find that your mind is in places that you would rather it was not. Oh, that never happens to me. Yes, it does. Okay, what's the first thing? Yes, the first thing is exercise. I know this because I do it all the time to clear my head and also because I have serious exercise goals that go along with my investing goals and other goals. Yeah, okay. So what exactly are you doing? I'm spending time clearing my mind and focusing on things that aren't so stressful. Do you have goals for this exercise? Yes, I do. Thanks for asking. Many goals. They include 12,000 steps per day on exercise. A goal which I just met for this year, today, as we write this. Okay, so what else do you do? I meditate. Oh, how much? And how do I know if how much I'm doing is enough? Well, those are two very distinct, albeit important, questions. And I'll bet they have two very distinct, albeit important, answers. Right? Point taken. In meditation, I do 90 minutes right after waking up. I do another 30 minutes a couple of times a day while walking, and a little bit more just before bed, along with some stretching. Does that help you control your emotions? Yes, it does, and my reactions as well. The whole idea of responding versus reacting that we talked about before depends a lot on this. So I hope you all are listening to these in series, one after the other, because they all relate to each other. You mean you want people to binge? No, I I mean they can if they want to. It's a very popular thing lately. Okay, so what else is there? There's vitamin N. Vitamin N? Yes, that's another way we have of referring to nature and all the benefits you get by being out in it. You mean just taking a walk outside or sitting in a park or something? Exactly. That's certainly one way to do it. You can sit on a park bench. I do that. You can stroll on a bike path. I do that. You can climb a mountain. I do that or just trail hike. The key is to be quiet and pay attention to your thoughts. Wow, I really like that. I think I'll do that this weekend. Or maybe before. What else? Well, you can do a form of another thing that I learned how to do. Which is what? Which is reading. Also known as lisant. For me, at least, this is a great way to escape worries and focus on something else for a while. Hmm, good food for thought. And then there's music. Sweet music. Sladkaya musica. He said in Russian. Which helps me redirect stress so that it doesn't have a long-term effect. And I suppose there's other things? I'm sure of it. Uh, There's things like writing, socializing, hobbies, breathing. Breathing is obviously very important. Yeah, I can see that. But what it really comes down to is being kind to yourself. As I've said before, it's another one of our mantras. I often hear the advice that we should treat ourselves kindly. Is that the same thing? Yes, it is. It's self-care however you do it, whether it's treating yourself or being kind to yourself. However you want to do that, you can take a hot bath. You can, well, some people do yoga. Some people just spend time alone. And then there's that meditation thing that I mentioned before. That's a big part of being kind to yourself. At least it is for me. And how does this become important? Because when you set goals, you have to finish them somehow. Maybe you set triggers or use checklists or a to-do program. Okay, makes sense. But then what happens if you don't finish them? I don't think I want to think about that. No. Okay, but it's going to happen. So what do you do? You beat yourself up. You call yourself a loser. You whine unproductively, huh? right? I suppose you could do those things. But what would be better? What would be better is making a decision to simply try again. Not harder, just again. Which is exactly what I call being kind to yourself. Can you provide just a little bit more detail? Yes, I can. In fact, here is a practical example from my daily life. Oh, this should be good. That's good. Agreed. It is good. And it's kind. Tell us. Okay, it's at the end of the day, and I'm tired, and I want to go to bed. 
But the last thing on my checklist isn't done. So I do it, but it could have been better. Instead of beating myself up for that, I decide on a time when I'm going to try again tomorrow. And then I think about all the things that I did get accomplished and realize what a great day it actually was. And is that the end of your day? No, not quite. I, I could explain a lot more about that, in fact. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a hard podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Hey you, audio expert. Yes, DT? Are we ready for act three? Indeed. Even as we speak... Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, let's get close to the mic. Oh, okay. So, what do you think is the simple solution here? You mean the thing that helps us stay focused? I do mean that. Well, this might seem a bit redundant. As do all things which are repetitive. Right, by definition. Many things are like that, but perhaps not all things. Go on. The simple solution is to do the number one thing and do it again and again until you are tremendously good at it. Which will come naturally as a result of all your practice. So then... It looks like we need to utilize that simple solution bell. And if we start getting off track, we can quickly bring each other back to the main focus. Outstanding idea, you scandalous goose. Thank you, DT. But it's not a new idea. It's a summarization of all the things we've been talking about. And which we will continue to talk about. But we also need to remember the importance of patience, persistence, and repetition. PPR. PPR, yep. Solutions rarely come quickly. We have to be willing to take the time and put in the effort for any solution to be successful. Do you have a quick example of the time when you learned how to be patient in this way? I do. Tell us then, before we go today. Sure thing. So, you know how we're supposed to let go at night and let our subconscious minds come up with an answer to something we want to figure out and do? Yeah, and I do that. Sometimes it works, but not every time. Well, actually, it does work every time, if you're patient. Oh, and not defining every time as every time you try to do it, but as every time it works. Like that Native American tribe that was able to claim that every time it danced, it rained. Because? Because they didn't stop dancing until it rained. So they were always right. Well, that's a simple solution, if I ever heard one. Which means? Which means that I will remember to carefully focus when achieving my goals. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar, Psychologist, William James, Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, French Consultant, Leah, The Do Your Own Research Lady, Videographer, Eto Moon Koshki, Audio Props, Les Paul, Inspiration, many podcasts and other sources and of course Napoleon Hill.
We also have websites, and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio, or text message. But, of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to get the links and stuff. All the clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. We just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on Protmatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, Podbooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, as well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes, that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul.